Hello friends, Brian Gailey, Klamath Falls News. We're coming live to you from the Oregon Institute of Technology College Union Building, where it is Friday night at Winter Wings. And we're actually talking with Mikey Spindle, who's going to show us around and tell us what's going on here tonight. Mikey, what's, what's Friday night at Winter Wings like? Friday night at Winter Wings. I'm the vendor coordinator here, and what we have going on tonight and all day tomorrow is a look at all the activities that go on the area. We have display representatives and nonprofits here who will share all the information about what there is to do around this county, especially birding related, but actually all outdoors. And we have vendors here who are selling lovely handmade items, birding equipment, binoculars, and a variety of art pieces that we'll be happy to show you tonight. And when we're standing right next to the registration table, can people still register for the event? Absolutely. We, it's not available as online registration anymore. We do have on-site re registration, and there are a number of programs available. In fact, the first thing that's available is our presentation tonight. We have Moose Peterson, who's a world-renowned photographer, who's coming in to do a presentation. And that'll start at 7.30 in the auditorium inside the College Union. And that's something you can still sign up for here. And um, there also, throughout the next couple of days, there are some programs programs, outings, field trips that can be signed up for. And you can find out by dropping by the College Union here at OIT. Well, very good. Let's take a look around and see what's here tonight. Great. We're going to start going around? through our registration area, and we're going to pass a number of nonprofits. We have people who have come down from Washington with the Phoenix Conservancy. Conservancy. We have Kia Birding app. We have people from um, the Master Naturals program from OSU. Just a variety. So I'll let you take a look around. All right. Let's go take a look. here is the Klamath Basin Audubon Society. It is a major fundraiser for the Klamath Basin Audubon Society. So they have a sales table here and we'll be happy to tell you all about our club and how you might want to join us. As we look over this way, you'll notice that we have a number of vendors, or actually display representatives, that will tell you all about what is happening in the latest in birding and also wildlife and things to view in and around Klamath, um, Oregon, and also other parts of Oregon and Washington. So let's go this way and we'll hit some vendors. Okay. I'm going to stop you right here and just show that we do have plenty of information from Meet Me in Klamath, Discover Klamath. If you need anything that will give you information on where to go, how to get there, and what's available, a great resource. So there's information here for that. As we go through the other door, we'll see some of the people from the refuges and also from lava beds and a lot of other organizations that can give you information. You're showing up at a great time. It's almost happy hour. At 4.45 to 6 p.m. both tonight and tomorrow night, we have wine and beer available that you might want to purchase a glass of wine, bottle of beer to Get yourself a drink while you do some shopping. Um, the refuge complex is here that can give you any information you might need on birding in the area and how to get around. Lava beds for information you might need. And we'll head on towards our vendors. You have to kind of find your way around here. It's a little curvy, curvy, but we've snuck vendors in whenever we can. We have jewelry. We have artists that do painting, photography, uh, birding supplies, also binoculars, cameras, things that might help you go out and find those birds. So we'll head this way. Right here we have Terry Arena, and she is in fine detail, and she is finishing up a wonderful creation here. Do you want to tell us anything about it, Terry? Uh, work in progress, great gray owls. Um, it's going to have some sunbeams coming down in it, and um, some more dappled light on the bottom, but it should be pretty fun when it's done. So you can find Terry and her artwork, cards, large photos, large uh, paintings, bookmarks, all sorts of goodies, playing cards, right here. 
We'll stop next by uh, Orphan Girl Fine Art. And this is Erin who does Orphan Girl Fine Art. She's working on a, a picture right now. And what's really interesting about Erin's work is she does her painting on tea bags. So it's a very interesting way she does her work. And um, just beautiful, beautiful quality. And as we go further along, you'll see her cards, which are also quite lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Good choice. which is one of our sponsors, and they have optics equipment for you, birding supplies, some nice little stuffed animals, books, all sorts of goodies for you. And behind us, we have the famous Steve Spencer, who has Leo's Counter Shop in downtown Clapham Falls, and he has anything you might need to take fabulous pictures of those birds. And if you think you can't take them with a cell phone, he will teach you that yes, you can. Two Very workshops good. tomorrow. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. You bet. Here's an interesting item here. We have garden bells. This is done by Jack Thomas. And he makes these out of CO2 canisters and fire extinguishers. And in beautiful colors, beautiful sounds, and some lovely artwork up on the fans. So he's been busy. So he's here to help you with your shopping needs. Hi, Jeff. Hey. Good work. <laughs> this is Trulu Jewelry. We have Bryn, who was self-taught, taught herself how to do all these wonderful things with beautiful stones and metal work. And so she has a variety of jewelry items at great prices for you. So. Stop and see Bryn. She'll be here all day tomorrow as well. We're here tonight until 6 in the vendor area. And then tomorrow our vendor hours are 10 a.m. until 6 p.m. And you can come through any of those times. No parking permits required during the festival. So just come on and park and it'll be great. That's good to know. This area makes wonderful metal yard art. It's really beautiful. And it's take shape images um, out of the Rogue River area and just all sorts of things um, they make for you. So great prices, large items, small items, and uh, they'll do custom work too. That's what a lot of our artists are so cool. If you see something you like but it's not quite what you want, they'll do custom pieces for you. We'll head on through. These are our artists as we, as we speak. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> this is Steve and Brenda from Take Shape Images. And this is where we banished the students to. You wondered where they went when we all came in, so we just give them a little seating area. As we head this way, we have a great vendor. We rock, and uh, Bob and his wife Joyce make wonderful things out of stones that they find themselves and beautiful creations. And here's Bob right here. He's making some beautiful things that are certainly related to the birding we do, but also a lot of other venues of wildlife that he does too. So, thank you. As we head on down, we have a few more display vendors. We have um, the Blue Zones Project, which they'll be here back again here tomorrow, and also um, Lake of Land Trust. It'll be here to tell you all about what they do with their organizations in the community. Hi, Brian. How are you? Flanagan Photos, who have beautiful work for you to see, both small um, pictures and large photos. They have t-shirts, and they've been with us before, and Mr. Flanagan here is kind of the expert on birding photography, so he can probably give you some fine hints if you happen this way tomorrow. We have some new vendors this year too. We have Lee Harris who's joining us and she does this amazing job of burning wood with electricity. I don't know how she does it, but <laughs> she's pretty amazing. You, so don't, she, want to know. you don't want to know. Okay. <laughs> repurposed so many items and made them into lovely works of art. 
She's hiding over here. <laughs> Beautiful looking stuff. The Yurok Tribe is joining us this time. Yurok Tribe Condor Recovery Project. And they're um, near Klamath, California. And so we have this giant poster in here so that you can see how big your wingspan is compared to a giant condor's wingspan. So the kids will love that if you want to bring them down tomorrow to see that. And um, we're almost to the end of our vendor area. We have a couple more places to go and we'll be set. Yeah, even the rock jacks, you know, there's our pop-up. These are some of our lovely artists from Two Rivers Art Gallery. They're in Chiloquin, Oregon, and they have a variety of different art pieces to share with you and also tell you a little bit about their um, great gallery up in Chiloquin area. So come see them. So we're going to head this way. I'll tell you about the programs tomorrow, when you can join us, and what the children might be able to do. <laughs> Loving it, right? Huh? Okay, so I mentioned Ms. Peterson, the photographer, who's doing the presentation tonight at 7.30. It'll be here in the auditorium, so tickets still are available. Right around $12, I believe. It's $10 or $12, I believe, for tonight's presentation. These are pieces of artwork from our local children from the various schools in the district. And I'm sure the kids would love for you to come see their work. It's actually a contest, and we'll be um, judging the artwork this weekend. And finally, um, our children's programs. Tomorrow we have at first a family program, which is Wild Quest putting on animal programs with about 15 different animals in the auditorium so that should be fun. It starts at 10 a.m. and the doors will be closed promptly at 10 so be on time for that. And upstairs between 10 and 2.30 we have children's hands-on activities from a variety of organizations around the county. Children just can make things, learn about birds, animals, their environment. So the weather's great. We're here. Come shopping, come check out the children's activities, the presentations, and any other field trips you might be interested in, you can go to our registration desk and they'll tell you what still has openings in it. And that's about it from me. Well, Mikey, thank you very much for giving us a tour here. Uh, there's some wonderful things happening up here at Winter Wings. It's more than just the, uh, the classrooms or the lectures and things going on. Um, you know, my kids always look forward to seeing the animals as well. So Absolutely. wildlife images come to town, they bring their animals, it's going to be a great time. So what are the hours? If somebody wanted to come by today, how late are you guys going to be here tonight? Okay, in the vendor and display area, we're here until 6 p.m. And then the presentation in the evening will be 7.30 p.m. Okay. Now, tomorrow, uh, the vendors display 10 until 6 p.m., and then the program in the auditorium tomorrow, 10 a.m., and upstairs, 10 until 2.30 p.m. Wonderful. And you said there's still things available. Come on down to the registration desk to see what's all out there. There absolutely are things available. It changes by the minute as people come in and do different things, but check it out. We'd love to have you learn more about us. Well, very good. Mackie, thank you very much for giving us a tour. This is Brian Gailey. We're live with the Winter Wings Festival here at Oregon Institute of Technology.